Well, Alex sure looked chilly <laughs> out there, but my goodness, mm -hmm. kind of a chilly day to go hunting. But Certainly, mm -hmm. almost kind of like a December type of a day rather than the middle of October. Yeah. So that calendar uh, not really cooperating with us here, at least Mother Nature not cooperating, but certainly a very chilly start to the day. Here's a look at low temperatures from this morning. Today's low at 29 degrees here in the Med City off towards Austin, 32 degrees, 30 in Albert Lee, Mason City, 28. Same for Charles City and Decorah. So overall, really chilly start to the day. But good news is off if you are off towards the Riverside, a little bit warmer there. Uh, looking towards Red Wing, and Winona at 34 degrees this morning. Lacrosse at 33, Mankato at 32. So definitely a chilly start to the day. And as we kind of look back from earlier today, Louis Donato camera from Signal Hill showing kind of a cloudy, dry start to the day. But as we head towards the afternoon, there were those rain and snow showers that kind of made their way through the region. We have dried up since now, but very windy conditions across the region. Here's a look at some of the high, some of the peak wind gusts from today. 39 miles per hour at the Rochester International Airport and also in Frankville, Iowa. As we look towards Dexter, 32 miles an hour and the Austin Airport at 31 miles an hour. So definitely some breezy conditions across the region. And that wind advisory slowly being cut back now as some of those uh, winds kind of begin to die down here. But that's still that wind advisory still continues uh, for our um, for Mason City and then continuing then off towards the west and then towards the south end uh, towards the Waterloo area as well. So thankfully the KTTC, most of the KTTC viewing area has been allowed to see that wind advisory expire. But it's definitely still some breezy conditions out there still this evening. Right now, live look at, a, at our Louis Donato camera from Signal Hill looking to the south. Things smooth there on Highway 52 as conditions dry out. Clouds are remaining very persistent here across the region. Unfortunately, another cloudy day on the way for tomorrow. Right now, we are sitting at 34 degrees. Wind still breezy out of the west southwest around 17 miles per hour. So definitely still some cool breezy conditions out there. Temperatures across this tri-state area sitting into the low to mid 30s, 37 degrees in Austin, 36 in Albert Lee, 34 in Mason City. In terms of winds, still breezy right now, about 15 to 20 miles per hour for most folks. As you kind of check out some of those wind gusts, though, still seeing those winds gusting up towards about 25 miles per hour, up towards about 35 miles an hour in the Mason City area. So in terms of wind chill, very chilly conditions. Time to add those extra layers. Really bundle up if you do have to spend some time outdoors. Seeing those wind chills right now about into the mid 20s, uh, even about 30 degrees in Austin. So overall, chilly conditions feeling again a little bit more like December rather than October. Checking out precision radar, we are seeing some drier conditions here in the Rochester area and still a few lingering rain and snow showers off towards our east and again down towards our south into northern Iowa. They're seeing a little bit more of that uh, snow activity uh, than the rain activity. But kind of taking a broad scale look, a very strong, powerful low pressure system up towards our north, seeing that kind of wrap around bands uh, to our south, kind of uh, just kind of curling in around our area. But uh, checking out that uh, future cast in terms of what's in store here for the next 24 to 48 hours, we'll see that rain and snow activity kind of out of the area here and fizzling out as we head towards the midnight hour afterwards, then drying out. So in terms of your Sunday, then dry but cloudy. The late afternoon could see a chance of maybe a few stray rain showers overall, not looking to be widespread and not everybody going to be seeing that chance for some precipitation, but really just a very isolated chance at that. In terms of Monday, then looking to dry, stay dry. We'll look to see a little bit of some sunshine sneak back into the region as well. High pressure taking control for just a short time. So tonight temperatures into the lower 30s with those snow showers coming to an end. In terms of tomorrow, then chilly still, but uh, breezy as well. Highs into the lower 40s and checking out that extended forecast. Good news is we are on the way up in terms of temperatures heading into next week. Tuesday could see a slight chance for some showers. Good news is by late next week towards the weekend, looking much warmer and much more seasonal. So good news there. Just have to stay bundled up here for this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's hard to live here sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Thank you very much, Sarah.